gang, back with another video. We're going to be talking about two stocks that can go insane within the next 48 hours. Okay, the first one is Neo stock, and the second one is GameStop stock. Okay, ticker symbol GME. So the first one we're going to go over Neo. Let's get straight into it. I'm gonna give you guys important levels. What happens? On the news that's going to come up, I'm going to let you guys know news that are going to go on both of these stocks. They're going to be back to back. OK, so they're going to be back to back. They're going to have these moves probably within the same time frame. So I'll let you guys know how I'm looking to play them. And like I said, key levels. So make sure you guys smash the like button. Subscribe if you are new. Let's get this video over 100 likes before the next video comes out. That's all I ask. OK, 100 likes before the next video comes out. The next video comes out in five hours. OK, so smash that like button. It'll take you one second. So Neo, N-I-O. Neo has some old levels on here, resistance levels. You can tell that $24 level that I gave you guys right here hit perfect here. And then what do you see after that? A pullback. That's why I say these levels I gave you I got are very important. Never miss a video. Never miss a video. Now, we could take all this off because we're going to go have to go over some stuff real quick. Take that off. Now, for Neo, Neo has earnings. Neo has earnings Wednesday before the market. Okay, so the only time... I could really play it is tomorrow. That's why I said it can move within 48 hours. So they have earnings um, Wednesday morning. They're expected to do a 9.3% growth on NEO. Okay. Now, if we go to NEO, look at all the previous earnings and let me know if you see some type of pattern. NEO right here, pull down, recovery, right? The recovery came after NEO. So it had a big drop down and then had a recovery. So possible put options and recovery on the upside. Last earnings, pull down, recovery on the upside. Possible put options, get that recovery on that upside. Earnings here, put options, small recovery, but a recovery, okay? You kind of see in the pattern, right? Pull down here, put option city, small recovery there. Now this one, I think it had about one that didn't do it. It had a pull down here. I mean, it did have like some type of recovery, but overall, it went down more. And then we had our earnings here. You can see the pull down, recovery, quick recovery, and then even pull down more. And then I'll do the last one. It had a pull down, a recovery there. You see the earnings right here. Big pull down, recovery. So what am I looking for? How am I looking to play this NEO for earnings? I think we might have the same thing. Now, the only thing is what's kind of messing it up is we're already having that pull down here on neo right we're having that pull down here on neo already so what i'm gonna think is i'm thinking of doing put options before the earnings to trade all the way down i think neo might get down to like 14 i'm gonna say about 1470 okay now all this is just my thoughts what i think might happen it could not happen it could go opposite of everything that i'm saying right because it's earnings earnings can go either way they might do a share buyback program to kind of boost their earnings up and then instead of going down, so say their earnings is bad and it goes down, their share buy, so say their earnings is bad, like here, boom, and then they do share backs, it's going to go like that, okay? And then it might fall over. Kind of how NEO, uh, not NEO, kind of how uh, NVIDIA did. NVIDIA had not so good earnings, they did share buybacks, it popped up, but then it had that big crash afterwards. So 1470, this is what I'm looking to tackle for put options um, before their earnings day. So when earnings comes out, expecting a big push down here. Next, I'll try to play the recovery. So recovery might come the day after. It might come two days after. We really have to be patient and try to see. But that recovery is going to push it up, right? So when it does, I'll be looking to play shares here and also call options to the upside. So I'm looking to play twice on NEO, but I will make the first play tomorrow um, on those put options, okay? Well, I won't go heavy or anything like that because it is a risky play. Like I said, earnings can go either way. It's just something that I like, some type of pattern that I see. Earnings haven't been so good on stocks lately. All most of the stocks have been kind of having that push down. So we'll kind of see on Neo. Then I think Neo might have a little more push down with all this like the listing stuff with China. We'll kind of see. They did make a deal, so maybe they're getting a little better, but we'll kind of see. But that's the what I'm kind of looking out for Neo. And downside, upside, looking to play Neo. Okay. Also, make sure you join the team. Look at all these gains we had. We had about 289% profit for the week of August 26th. I mean August 22nd, August 26th. Then we had a 518% profit, you can see right there, for August 29th to September 02. Yes, we also take trades. Look at these trades I lost. I lost 55% on Netflix. I lost 50% on um, Meta. 
But then I won 173% on SPY, 62% on Tesla, 50% on J&JH, 67% on Chevron. Yes, you're going to take losses, but always know how to minimize those losses. Keep your losses small. These losses actually kind of ran away from me. But look at these two losses. They don't compare to the wins. We had 90% win on gold. So you just have to kind of minimize those. That's why I say make sure you join the team. Try to join the team before tomorrow if you can. But try to join this week because we have news every day this week, okay? So there's going to be a lot of movement, okay? So when you join the team, you get the guidance. I teach you guys how to trade, so how to find entries, exits, scalps, options, how to play those options, how to know when to play options, know when to play shares. So it's very, very crucial that you guys join the team so you can get all that knowledge, right? Teaching you guys how to fish, not giving you guys a fish, okay? So make sure you join the team. Neo, that's the one. Let's go to GameStop. Ticker symbol GME. Ticker symbol GME is the next one, okay? Why GME? GME literally has earnings that same day, but it's aftermarket here, okay? It's aftermarket. And GameStop also has a pattern on its earnings. So if we scroll back, see this right here? Pull down, recovery. Pull down, recovery. Earnings here, pull down smaller recovery earnings here pull down dropped recovery so the recovery went from 44 dollars all the way to about 53 earnings here pull down no recovery and then right here pull down recovery so usually gamestop does have that pull down on earnings okay the only thing about trying to play options on gamestop everything's pretty much high especially after this drop here premiums are high Everything's going to be high right now on GameStop. So I'm pretty much looking to play that recovery on GameStop. So I'm hoping it does have a drop. I'm hoping it can drop down to about $25 because that's why I see some buying pressure that's going to be added. Hoping it can get some drop down here. And if it does, I'm going to still have this exit at about $30 to exit to. Now, that could be shares. But like I said, options a little high. But shares, I can get about a 20% gain on those. So that's how I'm kind of looking out for GameStop. I think GameStop will have a move for its earnings. Now, like I said, upside or downside, we really don't know. Just trying to prepare for it the best I can. So these are the main levels I'm kind of looking out for GameStop. But if anything changes tomorrow, I'll let you guys know in the Discord if I decide to play them or not. Because uh, tomorrow might have like a big drop. It might mess up the play or might have a big run up. It might mess up the play also. So make sure you join the team. It's the first link in the description. The main levels with GameStop. And also, make sure you watch the videos I have before this one. <clears throat> Time to buy video. I got AMD, GCT, Phase Stock, and BBBY Stock all in this video. Same levels, ready for Tuesday. So make sure you watch all these videos for Tuesday. Tomorrow, this stock and 3x our money. Looking to buy this one Tuesday. Also, two top plays to make big gains. I'm looking to buy these two on Tuesday. Then we got BBIG Stock and Mullen. We do not want to get trapped on these. Make sure you kind of stay away from these. Watch that video because I tell you guys why. I'll probably be staying away from BBIG stock and Mullen. And then I got a video on uh, AVCT stock, Sundell, and OXY. Big plays on this one. They're literally at a very key level. You do not want to miss. It's all or nothing on that. Okay, so make sure you watch that video also. And subscribe. Let's get the channel over 100K. Instagram, will.knowledge. Instagram link is here also. Thank you guys for watching the video. Always remember, no segregation of our sell anything. This is for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. I will catch you guys in that next one.